hello everyone welcome back to another power apps video so today we are going to see how we can convert a drop down into a radio button control so i have added one edit form in which i have uh, included one of the drop down which i have in my sharepoint list and uh, if i play it i can see low medium high are the options available in priority which i can select now i'm going to convert this into a radio button to change uh, yeah drop down into a uh, radio button what we need to do i'm going to just shrink the size of this one and i'm going to include a radio button control over here okay so here we have the control so here the control is currently vertical we are just going to change it to horizontal okay so now we have uh, the same control in horizontal now we need to copy the items that are there in the uh, drop down into this radio for that what we need to do we select this we go to item properties we copy everything from here control c we come to this radio button where it is just a sample i am going to paste it as soon as i paste it you can see this values are coming now we have all the three values are coming uh, in the drop down so the next thing uh, we need to do is we need to set the default uh, property uh, for this uh, radio button control i'll go to default it is empty i'm going to say this item dot priority dot value so that value is set for this radio button now what we can do we can delete this drop down but as soon as we delete the drop down we are seeing some errors and that is because that data card is attached with this control now the data card is deleted we need to replace the data card for that what we need to do we select this radio button control we copy the name of it we go to each error so the data card value we are going to replace with this one we will edit it data card 20 will be replaced with radio 2 so now the error is gone now if you can play this app you can select so this is how we can easily convert a drop down into radio button control I hope this helps you. Thanks for watching.